Oh, there's my cue. Hey, it's Borna1029 The Hog. We're here at The Rave. It's Rock Resurrection Tour time, and we got both headliners here. I love this. Tyler Connolly, Theory of a Dead Man, John Cooper Skillet. Guys, thanks so much for being here, man. You know it. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, I had this idea. Last time I was in this room was three years ago, and it was the Alter Bridge Tour. So I had Mark Tremonti sitting here. Clint Lowry was open up with his solo band and had them yeah. both on at the same time. Rather than talk about the same stuff, same tour, like, let's just have both you guys on and just, just talk and just hang out. So you had, you had two guitar players. Now you get two singers. Two singers. Yeah. Two singers is way better than two guitar players. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we don't, there's not, with singing, there's not much gear talk. Right? Yes. I'm not too good at gear talk. Of course, you play guitar. I do. I play bass. Yeah, we do play instruments. Yeah, you play, Tyler, you play a lot of guitar. I mean, I most, of, most, of your, most of your songs, right? Most of your set you're playing. Yeah. Does yeah. it? So, Tyler, when you're not having to play a guitar in a song, is that liberating? Is it weird? Is it weird for you because you mostly play when you sing ones that you don't, you kind of swing it around your back or put it to the side or what? It used to be. I remember I used to just stand at the mic and it wouldn't move and I loved having my guitar. But now it is so liberating. I feel like I take the guitar from like, ah, oh, it's like taking off your shoes after going for a <laughs> long hike. I don't know. Because <laughs> you can, you're rust playing that, but then, you know, singing, you're, 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 you're singing. So you yeah. got it. That, that never stops. So it's uh, here at the Rave tonight. Just started with the Rock Resurrection Tour with Skillet and Theory of a Dead Man. Now, John, you're headlining tonight. Skillet's head the headliner tonight, right? On a cool headlining run. Correct? Yeah, we're kind of flipping. Do we, is, that, mm. is that on a daily, like every other stop, or is it, ah, you know, I'm, we're, you have a home base in Wisconsin. Let me take this one, and then <laughs> you had a Tyler's hood. He gets he gets those with theory, or how does it work with you guys, John? Yeah, I, I think we. I don't really know how. It's not literally every other night. There right. are certain ones, and uh, it, but it but it's it's cool because um, then you know you each get to to play in front of someone else's audience. <laughs> so I always love playing in front of new people. Maybe they haven't seen us play, and I get a chance to hopefully you know win some people over, and uh, we get to. You know, get some new fans. That's what I, that's what we hope for. But it is kind of a um, our backyard, I suppose. And and already in the meet and greet, got to meet you know a lot of people that we recognize. Mm -hmm. yeah, seen at nine shows or something. Yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> you still live in the area? Is there yeah. a place in the, in the oh, area? Oh yeah, Did you yeah. Get some still... time at home these last couple of days. Kind of uh, in Green Bay. A couple just nights yesterday. Ago. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Kate went home for like ten hours. You know, yeah. it was cool. Tyler, do you like you over? Home cooking or anything? You know like what, man? I was no, so I lonely in my hotel room <laughs> yesterday, and and. I actually, we were here, so uh, I should have. We could have, uh, mm. you know. You, sometimes you need you need your family time, man. You, you gotta take take care of that, you know, because we're we're on tour a lot. Yeah. So it's nice to have that downtime. So if you're not headlining tonight, Tyler, is it weird? Is it weird schedule adjustment, or does that phase you at all when you're playing a little bit earlier than you're used to? I love playing earlier because yeah. I'm an old man and. Uh, I've Go back to the bus, <laughs> put my slippers on. No, I mean, uh, yeah, no, it's, there's, 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 there's no cons, honestly. It's, it's both exciting. It's, uh, I really enjoy actually going on and kind of warming up the crowd. I feel like, it, I'm, I feel like I'm really good at it, to be honest. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I just really enjoy it. So our, our first closing one, I think, is Detroit. So, Rock uh, City. So I'll probably get up there and be like, you guys ready for Skillet? And they're like, they're already playing. <laughs> <laughs> like, what time is it? It's late, it's late here. Well, that's fun. But as, you know, as a band, when you're coming up, when you're first starting out, that's what you're doing, right? You're playing those earlier slots. Yeah. So it's kind of like, that's what, you, that's what you do and how you, how you break through. Yeah, I remember playing, like I'm sure you do too, like you play uh, nightclubs and bars and you're going on, I remember someplace we were going on because they want to get you right to like 2 a.m. Going on at like 12.30. Mm -hmm. We're like, are you serious? Like, oh, yeah. And then we, our first record, we play like an hour and five minutes because that's the only material we had. Right. And then the guy, the club owner, is like, get back up there. Come on, you want to play an hour and five? Because they just want to sell, sell some more, you know, get us right to closing. Remember those days? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I feel similarly in that um, it, it's a funny business because you can go on a tour, like, like for instance, we might tour here, then go to Europe. And I've been in Europe, and then you flip, you flip flop. You never know who's going to be bigger in right. England, and then you, or then you go to Germany, and it's a totally different thing. And uh, I love it. So you know, Skillet does headlining gigs. Sometimes we we go out. You know, just a few years ago, we went out on a, on a run with Corn and Stone Sour, and you, we were the opening gig. So we were the first band. You know, and it's right. and I kind of I kind of like all of it because then for me, you get a chance to to win over people. 
Because they're usually not expecting a lot when you're the first band, especially. And uh, so then you get to, to win over some fans. And it, sometimes it's nice getting the gig over, and you go, man. You got the rest of the I got the rest evening. of the night yeah. to, to chill. It's kind of yeah. nice, actually. Yeah, John, you ever had a, the, the tough crowd moment stick out in your mind as you were, as you were coming up where just wasn't connecting for some reason if you're oh. a band that, did, that, that they didn't know you guys and going, what is, what is this? I'll ask you the same question too, Tyler, next, but does anything stick out? Yeah. yeah. You get a second to think about yours. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, absolutely. It's still, every once in a while, those things happen. Yeah. You know, I remember touring. I won't say who I was touring with because then someone might think that I'm dissing the band, which I'm not. They just happen to be a band with fans that don't like anybody anyway. else but <laughs> yeah. that band. Yep. And, fr- and frankly, it was, it was really difficult. Yeah. And uh, I remember it, I was, we were starting a, <laughs> starting a song where we do like a begin clapping, and I'd do like, a, oh, the crowd, oh, say yeah. And like the third time I was like, everybody, forget it. Yeah. Start the <laughs> song, the click, 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 <laughs> click. Like they don't want to be here. I don't really, yeah. if I, just give me my money, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Let's hurry this and speed this up along. Yeah, I'll do you a favor. I won't make you sing something bad because you don't want to either. It's all good. One stick out for you, Tyler? Experience One? It? Yeah. Now, th- there's quite a few. Man, we had this time we were doing this Super Bowl warm up party opening for Seven Dust. Let me tell you, Seven Dust. One of the greatest bands oh, yeah. of all fans. time. Yeah. Right? And greatest guys. Yeah. And their fans love Seven Dust. They were not and they weren't they weren't mean or anything, but man, we had this moment where our sound guy, and this was years ago. This is, I'm gonna say this was two thousand five. We we didn't have any tracks or there was nothing. There was I think our drummer had like a, a click thing that went into his left ear or something. So our sound guy went to the bathroom during our, our this is real so you, people are going to think i'm making this up went to the bathroom <laughs> during our set and he, i guess he had, ha, has like a fader that brings up the echo or something okay. on my voice yeah. so we did a whole song where my voice was off but the echo was coming in so it was like hey delayed <laughs> and then people start going this guy's lip this guy's lip syncing oh, oh, yeah. and dude and so of course i don't know yeah. right i right. i got in ears so i'm like <laughs> And so between songs, I hear them was like booing, and st- they started s- chanting Ashley Simpson and stuff. And I'm like, <laughs> guys, ready? I'm not. I'm and, not but, though. <laughs> but I, I was, I didn't understand what's going on. And I'm like, this guy? and the guys are looking at me, and I'm like, I don't know. All right. So we finished the set, and uh, the, our re- label rep was there, and he comes up to me, he's like, dude, were you lip syncing? I'm like, no. What? What is going? And that, and then they told me the story, and I was so embarrassed. And to this day, I'm like, I was not lip syncing. <laughs> Never done it. You ban bathroom breaks then from sound sound guys going forward. Don't <laughs> yes. leave don't leave your post. Go before. Come on. Come on. What are you? He's yeah. like, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. he, they just pushed the, he put the wrong fader up, I guess. I don't know. True right. story. Oh, very good. We got Tyler Connolly, Theory of a Dead Man, John Cooper, a skillet rock resurrection tour here at the Rave. Uh really looking forward to the set guys. You guys got congratulations on both your respective newer albums. I know we got the John, you got the deluxe version out. Uh, yeah, of, just of came out record yeah. and Psycho, yeah. my head's a song. We're on the hog, so a couple of new songs on that. Woo! So, you got some, was that some stuff that's left over? Did you guys record some new stuff and put that out? Or what was the deal with it? Yeah, a little bit of both. Some of it was stuff that we had recorded and that didn't, you know, uh, make the cut. Some of it was was brand new. And then one of the songs is a a re recorded version of a song that we had released on a different album. It was one of these weird things when all of a sudden this song started like selling really well out of the blue, and nobody really knew why. And it was like, why don't we do a new version of it? And, uh, and also because it had come out right before lockdown. And so then it's like things just get lost. You know, lost. It's, like, it's like the whole world decided to like pause their lives and not listen to any new music. You know? So then it was like, well, man, what do we do? So we re-recorded a brand new version. Mm-hmm. Um, we had um, um, Adam Gantier. Gantier, how do you say it? Gantier? Yeah, that's yeah. it. It's pretty good. I did yeah, pretty good. Yeah, what do you think? French. Yeah. I'm a lead singer. I can yeah. do stuff. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you can say words and sing words. I can say pronounce things. Stuff. Yeah. Um, came and, and guest vocaled on the song as well, so it kind of made it a special, a special deal. Yeah, and of course, San Zonia on this tour as well, too. Right? Wicked, so, yeah, those, they're awesome. Those guys. I got to say, when you look at the ad mat and the posters, we call them in, in, in the, when you see concert posters, this tour with everybody, best hair game out of all the bands on there when you got tyler's yes. you got john's <laughs> even the saint Sonia guys that you're you know yep. the, i wish the, the i had hair as thick as tyler's look at this I mean, it's pretty thick it like, looks like a cartoon almost it's, it's so thick 
I wish mine was thick. And it's like crazy because it's a little, you know, it's a little warm in this room that we're doing, and his hair is yeah. not. I've been mean, looking; has not moved one one bit. No. In there, just staying on there. No, I've got the. What do they call that? The something net? What was that old hairspray called? Aquanet. 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 Dude, I, I know all about Aquanet. <laughs> yeah, yeah we, I remember touring. We did a tour years and years ago with the, um, whoever the opening band was. I can't remember. It was in Europe. But the drummer was um, Robert Sweet, from, who played drums for Striper. I don't know if you remember, he had that huge hair yeah. you know, in the 80s. And man, he was about to go on and he whipped out this Aquanet. And I was like, I didn't know that he even made Aquanet still. And uh, I love it. It's probably endorsed. <laughs> it should be. He had beautiful hair. <laughs> I'm sure you got people coming at you, Tyler, for that. You for should endorse uh, I get, some hair. I get some product or something. Or you, yeah, some people yeah. will send me stuff. Yeah. yeah, and then I'll give them a little shout out. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I actually went back to the hairspray. I was using pomade for years, mm -hmm. uh, and this is this is kind of the old 2008. It tastes a lot easier to do this, and this will never move. In 20 years, it'll be a wig. I don't know, man. You've been, you've been doing this for a while now. It's, still, it's, it's, still, like, a, it's, it's like a Lego hairpiece, yeah. right? You click it, is. You click it on. Yeah. Click, it does. Click. It's a helmet. We've talked about Tyler's hair. Tyler, would you like to comment on John's beard, who I say his beard game oh, is yeah, always, please do. always solid. Please do. Beard. It's phenomenal. Yeah. I use pomade on my beard. See? Do you? Yeah, otherwise it gets huge and like, like this. Because I see some guys, they have like the oil. They put some sort of stuff in it yeah. and make it all conditioned. Yeah, right. I have my own oil and pomade. You do? Yeah, I'm going to show it to you. Oh, so please. if you ever grow a beard, you'll be like, dude, I mean, this, I know this guy, John. I know John personally because he's huge. And, and you can brag about that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm down. Strange hair and beard. And they're like, <laughs> you guys have gotten more dates of the show. And then like, time to vet this out. <laughs> we the, can call him next door. We toward. have to come up with a good name <laughs> yeah, about exactly. like, hair and beard products. Like, I, it's, yeah, Spar, we are, all our buzzes are wrapped. <laughs> Dude, you With diversify Aquanet. in that merch line. You, I mean, people, fans will buy stuff, buy whatever. Why don't you could slap your name on, right? It's all good. Be great that's stuff. a really, you know, this is a great idea. See? We could probably combo. I might sell combs. Yeah, exactly. Beard combs too. They do. Yeah. Man, man, you guys think you got business models coming out of this. I like it. So that's that's why you see. That's why we get you together and talk amongst each other and <laughs> okay. do it. Uh, Tyler Theory, the new album Dinosaur, out in about a month, a little less than a month, March seventeenth, right? Yeah, Saint the Patty's Day. day yeah. So Dinosaur is a song you're hearing title track on 102.9 The Hog. The two of us uh, cover, call it a cover or redo, because it's yeah. like you guys always take these uh, these love songs and then you twist them to say, hey, no, there's a there's a antithesis to it. It's 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 a lot of fun. It's really good. Yeah, I, I, I've I, we've done it before, so it's kind of our, our thing. I, I I love it. I I really like the song. So. Except for people to hear it. That's it's part, you part of your weird, it's quirky of your... sense of humor. Yeah. Yes. Right? It's part of the quirk. I'm glad. Pe I hope people get it because they don't get my humor sometimes. And <laughs> people are like, I was a jerk. I'm like, no. What were you saying? No, Sorry? I said, no, I said, uh, no, I agree with you. A lot of your, your lyrics and stuff is fun. It's funny. Too. Yeah. yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah. It comes from, yeah. obviously, probably, I'm sure, a very personal place for you, but it's, it's entertaining. It helps people laugh along with you know whatever they're going through too as well whether it's a breakup or relationship yes, problems or whatever sometimes yeah. i mean we have some 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 deep stuff but at the same time uh, the levity is, is yeah is a little nice sometimes yeah is the is the two of us something you perform or you would you ever or are you doing it on yeah, this tour? yeah we're not and i don't know if we'll do it on this tour but we might yeah. Yeah. uh our, as it I, builds yeah we'll see yeah. we're playing another song from our 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 album called Ambulance, which is more of like a mm -hmm. rocker. Yeah. It's fun. Well, from the first, th that one in Dinosaur here, and it's good rockers from yeah. the theory as well. Yeah. So, sorry, Dinosaur sounds amazing yeah. live. Oh, thanks. It's yeah. really, really good. It's, That's fun. It's, I told you that it's dirty. Yeah. It just sounds so dirty. You can't help yeah. but, you can't be like, like that. Yeah, can't wait to hear it. It's really tonight, good live, yeah. Tonight here at the Rave. All right, I know you guys are busy. We'll let you go. One final question. I want to just ask you, Tyler, is there anything about John or skill that you've always wanted to know? That you're, he's got, you got him sitting here right now, and you want to ask him. And John, he went, he went second next time, so you can go second this time. Same question yeah. for you, once of those. Well, I would What's like to ask him how he came up with the, the cryo arms. Yes. Like, oh, what oh, do you call the them? The Brutus picture from that. Yes. What do you yeah, call them? awesome. I, I call them cryo gloves because uh, I don't okay. really know what to call yeah. them. Yeah. So good, right? I, I mean, you're the only one that has those. Are your, you should patent that. I think you're the only one that has those. I really should, actually. Um, I don't remember how we came up with that. It was just more like thinking about random things we do. And I was thinking, it'd be really cool if I could like shoot something off. And I, you know who does all that, all the, the flames and all that, of course, is uh, who's the German metal band? Uh, Rammstein. Rammstein. Yeah. yeah, you know, they do all this crazy yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. And I don't really remember how it started, but I thought, 
I think I could probably do that. I, mean, <laughs> I better not do it. Rom Romstein does. You could kill somebody. But I was thinking, I bet we could do that. And I asked my my tour manager, and he's like, Oh, I love I love it. So the first time we did, we got like UC UFC gloves. You know, okay, cool. it was like yeah. it was like total redneck. You know, um, like Joe Dirt, like your song says. It was like a Joe oh, yeah. Dirt move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like with UFC gloves with these things Just shooting off electrical tape. <laughs> yeah, I saw the picture. I'm like, I can't wait to see that in a couple of yes. nights. Yeah, we that's upgraded them. They're no longer <laughs> UFC okay. gloves yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> but, but it looks cool, so that's part of the show as well. All right, John, same thing for Tyler. What, anything you want to know about oh him or the gosh. band that you wanted to ask? I can't think of anything now. But Well, actually, a lot of people only call you theory. Yes. Is that, how do you feel about, like, are you like, it's theory of a dead man? Or is it like, ah, just theory, just whatever you want to call it? Yeah, well, the name's so long. It's like Red Hot Chili Peppers. It's like people call them the Chili Peppers. Mm -hmm. So I, we, I, we like theory. I mean, we, we, had, we had it for a couple records. We just said, I'll just put theory on there and be like, really? I'm like, yeah. We'll just kind of, we'll just own it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and that's what our, our management or label always, they always say, oh, the theory, theory guys, or theory, they never say theory of a dead man. So i uh i've had multiple run-ins with people especially in like los angeles where they go what do you do for you know uber or get your hair cut what do you do for a living i sing in a band and i'm like here we go <laughs> what's your band called like theory of a dead man they're like theory of a what <laughs> and then it's like and then you're done you're like hey man i'm gonna check your band uh theory of a madman i'm like all right <laughs> you do that theory of a madman see you later so I, yeah, I'd say theory. It's, just, it's better than yeah. saying skillet and they're like, uh, you mean like a pan? Like, yeah, it's the worst. I know. It's fine. <laughs> Dude, it's easy to remember, though. I mean, it's, it's actually great. Yeah. Every, every, every great band um, has a shortened version of their name. Theory. Sure. sure. Right? Um, a GNR. Zeppelin. Mm -hmm. Get the lead out. That's true. They say, That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Row, the the row skid row i'm a huge skid row fan oh, the row. Yeah, yeah, as a Metallica. canadian boy Metallica, right there right so yeah everyone does yeah, yeah. And just hand heads for skillet <laughs> yeah skittle yeah. skittle give it up for skittle. skittle yeah that we've had that before oh, oh really yeah, oh, yeah. No. It's, it's, it's so painful yeah. it, it's so spinal tap you know yeah. you, you're just sitting backstage about to go on Makes noise for Skittle, and you feel like, yeah. Uh, remember the, the manager that's like, I told him a thousand times it's Spinal Tap before Puppet Show. Yeah, that's right. Right, right, right. right. I said one room, I said seven rooms on the first floor, <laughs> not one room on the seventh floor. <laughs> All right, guys, been a pleasure. Thank you so much for the time. You got it. Tyler Connolly, Theory of a Dead Man, John Cooper, a skillet. It's Rock Resurrection Tour. Santa Zonia, too, on this bell. I want to get downstairs and see these guys here coming up in, in a few minutes as well. So, yes. Uh, we thank you guys for the time and keep doing what you're doing. Dinosaur from Theory out next month. The deluxe version of Skillets is out now as well. Woo! Thank you so much. It's 1029 The Hog.